Hey guys, welcome to episode four of auto texting and Cerner hacks. In this one, we're going to talk about how we access the Cerner based auto texting access by going comma comma. So we put in comma comma and that brings in the preloaded auto text that is available in your system. So stay tuned. We're just going to show you how to access the preloaded auto texting in the Cerner environment at your center. So you'll know this by going into any of these fields and going comma, comma. That'll bring in some preloaded auto text that are at your site. As you can see, there's many of them. So the question is, how do we navigate through all of these options as quickly as possible? So the first thing we'll do is we're going to go into the Manage Auto Text menu, which we'll click through here. I'll bring that into view here. And what you'll see is uh, in this option is something called public phrases. And unfortunately, there's no really easy way of doing this. You can see that there's 45 pages of auto texting. But what you can do is you can scroll through these quite quickly, just going one by one. And so what I'll usually do is just scroll down with your down arrow. And over here on this side, it'll give you a preview of what it looks like once it gets pulled in. There is an option for the CTU admission history physical, which let's say, for example, you're interested in. So we're going to just pick the CTU admission. Let's say you this is something that you'd like to incorporate. So rather than going the comma comma CTU every time, you can duplicate that auto text and make it your own. So here the abbreviation is copy.ctu admission. We talked about the nomenclature of our own auto text. So we're going to call this one triple comma zero one underscore and then CTU admission. So we're going to save that as our own. And here we go. Uh, my phrases here, triple comma, zero one CTU admission. So we've just made that our own, comma, 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 number one CTU admission. It'll pull in all the relevant data for you. So that's how you add public text phrases to your library of auto text. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Unfortunately, there's no quicker way of doing this. You'll probably have to ask some of your colleagues about what they use. Maybe they've come up with some of the public phrases that are available in the Your Library of Autotext. So until next time, stay safe.